thanks for being patient with us for this next beta. Um, but I decided the best way to get through it would probably be to demo it through videos. So I'm going to go ahead and run through the app and show you the changes I made, and hopefully it'll make some sense. I uh, just opened up the app by clicking on the icon. You'll notice now there are three um, segments here at the bottom. There's my books, which are your scrapbooks, my kits, which are the kits that you currently have installed, and we've shipped with um, these five kits for the beta. These will be um, paid kits when we actually go live, I'm sure. And then, so these are the ones that are actually on your phone right now. And then the gallery is where we're going to have the kits that you can download from the Internet. Uh, right now, we have this one test kit that would be paid. I did not enable paid kits for this version, and uh, that will go live next week when we ship it to Apple. But um, the free kits are actually enabled. So you can download a free kit by clicking on it, and you'll see that there's a little status indicator and a little progress bar. And after it's downloaded the entire kit and unpacked it, when we go back to my kits, oh, it's done. We go back to my kits, and now you'll see that you have that kit in your kits. So let's create a new scrapbook. I go back to my books, and I'm going to hit the plus icon. You'll see that I have a blank page. Uh, you guys have probably have seen the beta. There's a already. You've seen the page button, so I'm going to click on the page button. I'm going to find a background that I like. Let's say the stripey one here. I like that pretty well. And I'm going to use the plus button. I can add a photo. So I'll go through my photos. And in the on the actual phone, this is going to be kind of slow. You want to go ahead and just be patient. I'm trying to make it a little faster, but it's, it has to do with the 300 DPI photos I'm saving. So you'll notice I have this photo, and everything is solid yellow now. Um, that was to fix an earlier problem where black uh, images were invisible. Um, so you'll notice I can use two fingers to rotate it. I pull my fingers apart. It gets bigger. I pull them together. They get smaller. So I've set this photo here. Now when I select a photo, you'll notice the frame button becomes active. I can click on that, and I can choose a frame. Now with photos that are sized for the iPhone, these frames, not all of them are perfectly calibrated right now, but they should be calibrated so that they fit neatly around the photo. So now when you see, when I click off, you can see that the photo has a neat frame around it. I'm going to use the plus button again, and I'm going to add an element. That's a, a terminology change. and. Uh, going to go through here, and uh, I like that little bow, I guess. So, once again, don't uh, comment on my scrapbooking skills. I'm still kind of working on this, guys. Uh, I rotated it. I made it a little smaller. So, I'm going to put this little bow in the corner. All right, now I'm going to go in and hit the, the plus sign again. I'm going to add some text. Now, in here, you'll notice I can type my text here. This is my daughter, Celine. So, I'm going to say, Celine, I'm going to hit return. There are quite a few fonts available. But um, some of them will not appear correctly. I'm going to work on filtering out the ones that do not appear correctly on the device. But um, I like the typewriter bold one a lot. So I'm going to use that. Um, there's a whole explanation of how these colors get calculated from the elements you're currently using on the screen. But I'm going to choose, uh, I think, this orange color right here that I like. So we hit done. So now you'll see that I've got her name. And I'll stick it over here, and I can rotate it around. Oops. Oh, there was an interesting thing. That only happens in the simulator. But what happened was it selected that by mistake. So now I'm going to turn that a little bit. And oh, there's her name. Oops, I already saw a bug. I picked orange, and now it's green. But this will hopefully get us uh, through the rest of the demo. So I put the text there. Um, undo, obviously, undoes things. Redo. Puts them back. Okay, then I think that's all. almost all the function. Okay, here's an important one. You'll notice the Z order buttons. I can now send things backwards and forwards. Um, this one is backwards, so I send it behind the picture, and then I can send it forwards. So you'll notice that controls where things appear. So right now, Celine is, Celine's name is on top. I send it backwards, it's behind the bow. I send it backwards again, it's behind the photo. So there's that. Um, trying to think what else is new. Um, okay, well, it's pretty clear, but the delete um, trash can thing deletes the currently selected item. All right, so when I'm done with my page, I go ahead and click the back button. Now, this is the read-only view. Um, this is the one when I'm in the main screen and I click on one of my books, I'm automatically in read-only view. All I have are two buttons here. I have the navigation button that takes me back and the edit button, which takes me into edit mode so I can change it. So... This isn't that interesting, but now I've added another feature where you can add another page. So I'm going to add a page to the scrapbook. The second page, I'll uh, put a purple background. 
I'll put in my photo of my son, Skylar. So here's Skylar playing chess. So we'll put that over there and uh, rotate that around a little bit. You know, eh, and I'll pick a frame. And now, um, put his name in there. Okay. Yeah, look like the turn. Try that into kind of a teal color. And we'll put it over here. Now when I go back out, you'll notice I have some more options. Now I have the previous page button and the next page button. I have the slideshow button, which isn't very interesting on the last page. What it really does is cycles through the rest of the pages. So I'm on the first page now. I'll press the slideshow button. And after three seconds, it'll switch to the next page. And it'll just stay on the last page. Now, um, in, a, in a bigger book, I'm going to add one more page. And on this one, I don't know. Um, I'll put the birds in here. Uh, maybe I'll pick a... I don't know. I like that flower. That's fine. So I'm going to put that flower in the middle of the page or something, let's say. So now I go back out. Now you'll notice we have the beginning of the book icon and, and the end of the book icon. So that's a quick way to jump to the first and the last page. It only shows up when there are more than two pages. So... And once again, I still have um, I still have the play icon to do a slideshow. So I sit here and I wait, and it'll show me the three pages in my book, and then I can go back out. And really, that's about it. Um, the only th big features that are missing is the paid um, kit thing that I showed you before, and drop shadows, which we are going to put in before the uh, before the final version. It's actually almost all all the way done now. So. Hopefully that answers your questions, and don't hesitate to contact us through, uh, you You probably have seen kulabame.blogspot.com, that's the blog, and on there you have links to uh, our emails and, and Twitter and all that sort of stuff. So thanks a lot for watching, and we will hopefully you will enjoy the app.